Hello there and welcome back. Today I thought we'd cover a topic that I don't think we've discussed on this videos on the YouTube channel lately but thought it's the time of the breeding and time of getting things in order again so I thought it'd be good to cover it and one of the things that I'm going to discuss today is the use of probiotics and prebiotics on your corn and in the water. So what I thought I'd do is I'll mix, mix a batch up on the corn and I'll mix a batch up in the water and I'll show you the two different ones that I'm using. So here they are. So this one, the pro-back one, the 1000, um, it says to give it in the water two to three times a week. But when I've been given any medication or through any stressful time, I will give them it every day for seven days. Like, so they'll get it for a full week and then I'll drop onto the two or three times a week, depending on what else I have in the water. Obviously, multivitamins, I don't like to mix too many things in together. So I might give them this one day and then give them multivitamins the next day and then give them this again and then give them multivitamins twice, three times a week and use this probiotic two or three times a week and all. Right, okay. So this is the one that people will be more commonly used to saying and this is the Dr. Brocker Camp one from Germany. It's the Probac 1000 and it's the one that I've used in the water for probably 10, 12, maybe even up to 15 years now. This is the one that I use. So if I'm ever given any medication or the birds are going through any stressful period of time, this is the one that I tend to use a lot. Now, when I went to pick some of this up yesterday, I came across this one and all. Um, it's from Bayer's and the Bayer Florums. It's the first time I've ever seen this one. And this one goes on the corn. So, just give us a second and I'll... Right, we'll open them both up. So it's a bit windy today. Now this one looks like it's a yeast based one. So basically it goes on the corn and I see it. Now we have two heap teaspoons, two heap scoops on the corn. So that's that one. Okay, I'll that one straight away. This is the one that goes in the in the yeah, yeah, sorry in the water. This is the soluble one. And it's the one I've been using before. So and what I do is, which you've seen this before, I like to use the Dostro. This is the Fitter Oil, 3% Oregano. I like to use that one. What I've done is, I've mixed 15 squirts. So this is just a, a squirty one. Just pop, 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 pop as many as you want. I've just automatically put 15 in there. So, and then basically, you've seen this before, just basically just mix it all up. Get a really, really good mix. Now, I'm on my own today, so what I'm going to do is I'll give it a mix up now and then show you it mixed. Right, so that's it mixed up, as you can see. There's a coating of oil on the seed, and we have the powder that I've just put on. It says in the instructions to put two level heat teaspoons into your daily ration but I have quite a high ration so I haven't as yet but I think off camera I'll probably add another scoop just to get it well and truly coated um, you can see there I mean, this is the seed mix I'm using at the moment but you can see the oil and the, and the bioform that's covered it all now this one is um, has a so this is the bioflorum this is basically what it said on the back. It says it contains the only probiotic red chested. So we'll see. One measuring spoon per kilo of corn. I think I've got about three kilos of corn. And it says give them it once or twice a week. Like. So this one here. It's pretty much what it is like. And I like using things like this. I've used them for years and years and years. Different ones, different ones come on the market. I try different ones, but I've never been a good big fan of putting it on the corn, obviously with the oil in the corn, but I always give it in the water. But I do tend to find that, doesn't matter which way you give them it, whether in the corn or on the, in the water, it pretty much both does the same thing. And the Probat 1000, it's electrolyte regeneration for the flora. So basically what you're doing here is, because I've given them a course of antibiotics, I've given all my birds a course of antibiotics, and I've also given them a course of um, Bacoc, sorry, for uh, coccidosis. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm replacing the good flora that's been lost. So this is a, 
the one I say to say in the water. You can put this one on the corner as well, like so five grams to one litre of water. All right. So I just thought I'd show you something what I've been doing today. I'm a big fan of these probiotics and prebiotics. I think we all should use them a lot more than what we actually do. Right, until next time, take care. Hope you found a little bit of interest in this and take a little bit of learning from it. Until next time, see you later. Bye.